Hey everyone, welcome back to Feed the Beast. Infinity, episode 20 on the FTB team server. And I, uh, I, I kind of died. <laughs> I was making my way out here to update you guys on the mining ritual since the last episode. And unfortunately met the uh, cruel fate of the ground. Unfortunately, it's, it is a little bit late, so I am a little tired, and I guess maybe I did forget to uh, use my hang glider, and uh, yeah. <laughs> and just just let you guys know it happened all fast. But anyways, this has been working rather nicely since last episode. I did make a few minor modifications as well. I went ahead and replaced the block breaker with the uh, uh, redstone clock as well with an autonomous activator. So all you got to do is... Pop in your pickaxe, any type of pickaxe that you have, uh, preferably one that has um, either, like, I'm guessing efficiency 4 or some redstone on it, or a mining speed like this of 18. This worked very well in this case, so I'm not really sure. Um, I'm thinking efficiency 4 might work pretty well. Might do something with this and do a little bit more testing on this at some point, but I want to show you guys the results of this back at the lab in just a minute. Uh, but I also want to point out while I'm out here, if you do any sort of chunk loading, I would recommend using the World Anchor because apparently, uh, according to T-Fox um, and a couple other people, I believe Watchful as well helped me uh, out with this, um, they said that the chicken chunks did not do very well moving on these frames like this. So, uh, World Anchor from Railcraft is a very nice substitute. Of course, it does require a little bit of fuel, but eh, it's not a problem. I don't see a real big problem with this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back to base, uh, the lab, and I'm going to show you guys uh, what we all got from just running this for about 12 hours. So I'll meet you guys back here in just a minute. <laughs> What? What even? Um, uh, um, <laughs> is this an April Fool's joke? I can only assume. I can, wow. J just wow. I, <sighs> that's one way to wake you up at night. Um, so I'm guessing that that might just be the, um, April Fool's joke for, uh, Thermal Expansion, possibly. <laughs> Thumbs up. Bentley gives a thumbs up. Made me laugh. That was nice. That's funny. Okay. Anyways, guys, back at the lab, and I don't think we did too bad at all. We got a good amount of uh, coal and redstone, lapis, stuff like that in. Didn't get that many diamonds, unfortunately, but eh, I'm still happy with it. We got a lot of thumbcraft shards, we got some appetite in, and plenty of surge quartz for the very, very near future, so. And... A good amount of iron, which is exactly what I was hoping for. Lots and lots of iron. Iron, lead, did good. Silver, not so much gold, but unfortunate, but plenty of copper, tin, and iron. So very, very happy about that. I know I said iron twice, but anyways. So, with that being said, I'm ready to move on today. I want to upgrade my armor. I've been using this Traveler's gear for a while now, and I think it's time to take a look into blood magic and see what it has to offer us in terms of armor protection. So, uh, just from doing a little bit of looking around, I noticed I need plenty of these filled sockets, which is going to require us to place that in our altar with 30,000 life points. Wow. Um, yeah, that that's, that's a lot. Um, so, glass, lots of weak blood shards, and diamonds. So, all right. I think we can maybe get started on some of that. Let's grab some diamonds. I'm just going to grab pretty much everything I have. I don't know if hopefully that's going to be enough because uh, if it's not, then I'm going to have to go do some mining, obviously. Uh, do I have any more sand land? Oh, yep. We're good. There's some sand. Let's throw some of this into... You're not going to, like, throw in into my uh, sag mill, are you? Please tell me you're not going to do that. Let's just set this to none for now. Why? Why? Why would I? Never. Never mind. Just. Just. Just don't even. Don't worry about me. <laughs> I'm okay. I promise. We're just gonna empty some. <laughs> I don't even know what I was thinking. Don't. I'm all right, guys. Don't worry. Okay. So we got our diamonds, and we just need some blood shards now. So I've been working on that a little bit already. I've been making plenty of imbued slates to make more 
blood shard. So I went ahead and got myself one more blood shard and used the imbued slates to get many, many more. So you just use your master blood orb or above, uh, combine that with one blood shard and one imbued slate. Wait, what? Ah, there we go. <laughs> I guess it's not shapeless. Um, okay. Uh, that gives you five weak blood shards. So I, I'm guessing we should have enough for now. So I'm not going to use this one. Uh, we'll hold into that for now. Let's see if we can actually get some of these up and running. I'm going to go ahead and disable you for one. So boom. Pull this guy out of here. Let's go ahead and start filling up our altar here with some life essence. Hopefully without dying. Do I have... I'm gonna have to get some more apples, I think. So I might have to go do that here in just a minute. But we should have enough to maybe get um, a couple of these filled sockets up and running. Let's see. Ooh, 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 ooh. Calm down. We're good. All right, let's grab some glass. That should be enough to get some going. And let's grab ourselves a couple empty sockets. There we go. Good 12 to start off with. So um, I'm pretty certain should be able to use my weak activation crystal for this, but I think we might be able to add like other sigils and stuff to the actual armor uh, while making it, but I'm not going to worry about that. I'm not going to do this this time around. I might try that a little bit later, uh, just not this time. So let's see. Let's see if we can get one of these. Whoa. whoa, whoa, whoa. Holy cow. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, um, I upgraded my altar a little bit. I got a lot of speed runes sitting in here ready to go, so I might, just might have to either add some more runes of self-sacrifice or take out some of these uh, speed runes here, quite possibly, just to be able to keep up with the uh, crafting of this. So let me do a little bit of work here, see if I can uh, try to get to a point where I can keep up with this, and I'll see you guys back here in just a minute. And... Don't kill me, don't kill me. Success! There we go. So, it only took one fake death and like 20 runes of self-sacrifice. So, uh, that was actually my third one. I just wanted to make sure everything was good and ready to go for us. There we go. I think that'll do it. So, lots of runes of self-sacrifice. Uh, a few speed runes here and there. In fact, it looks like I could have probably put something here. In fact, uh, maybe... Do I, have any, I don't have any more runes of self-sacrifice. I guess I could put a, a speed rune in here, but eh, might throw off the balance a little bit. But uh, we need to finish filling up these filled sockets here, but there's also a few other things that I need to get. And I think, hmm, I think it's a forge, this guy. Soul forge, soul armor forge. There we go. So we're going to need four filled sockets with that and... Four pieces of stone each. So I'm going to need four of these for my four pieces of armor. And then uh, however many of these I need. I believe it's what? Uh, was it 26, 27 for the uh, full set? So I still got a little bit of a road ahead of me. Let's see how many I can actually make of these sockets. Now, 32? Hmm. If that doesn't work, I'm going to have to get some more of these weak blood shards. So, there we go. Let's get all these filled up, and I'll meet you guys back here once I get everything crafted and ready to go. Phew. And finally, all of these sockets are filled. That yeah, took a little while. And <laughs> practically all my apples. I had this thing nice and full just a minute ago. This is uh, going to need a uh, refilling of apples here very, very soon. So, all right, let's get to this... Soul Armor Forge, real quick. So, I need some stone, it looks like. Let's jump up here into the lab, which I probably should be using my anchor, but I just, I don't know, I kind of like using my, uh, my air sigil for some reason. So, let's see, we need four of these. So, let's use four of these guys. Whoops, bloop, 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 bloop. Missed a couple, there we go. Four of you to make four Soul Armor for Actually, do I need four of these? I hope I do. <laughs> I hope this is the case. All right, so we got four of those. We got filled sockets. I think we only need like 24, 27 of these. I'm not sure. I'm not 100% sure on my maths and stuff. It's Like I said, it's late, but I should probably know this. So I'm going to do this down here. So let me actually pull this off. I just had my amulet of healing on just to see if it would help out any. I uh, can't really say it did. So first off, let's see. Um, 
Let's do the chest piece. And I believe we need to do something like this. And then I believe if we take our weak activation crystal and right click. Whoa. So I only needed one? I only needed one soul armor forge? Really? <laughs> that gives us a bound plate. This is our chest plate. So now let's see if we can actually get the rest of these up and running. So my little bit of a derp. You guys can learn from my little derp this evening. Like I said, I'm tired. Boom. Actually, second question is, is this draining LP? No, it's not. Okay. It's not draining LP from your current network. Okay. That's the other thing I was wondering about. So we need our helmet. Nice. And lastly, I believe this would be boots. Nice. We just got ourselves a full set. Holy yes. All right. That looks awesome. Okay, this looks super cool. Um, I guess I only needed one, but you wanna know something? These look very cool. In fact, I would be very, very happy as to, hold on, wait a minute. Okay, never mind. Um, <laughs> as to use this for a decoration piece somewhere on our altar. Where? I'm not sure, maybe, maybe underneath here? Could that be a thing? That looks really cool. I love the way these, these uh, Soul Armor Forge blocks actually look. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll do something with them very soon. Um, so, it might not be a bad thing making four of them. So, uh, And if we ever need them again, we can just come over here and snag them off of there. So, four extra filled sockets. I really don't know if we need these for anything else. I guess we don't. So, I'm going to put those away in here as well. And I guess we can go ahead and retire our old traveler's gear. Plus, we got 18. Oops. 18 diamonds left. So, uh, thankfully, our uh, mining ritual did run across a few. Um, I'm thinking maybe making an iron, uh, not an iron stand, but a uh, armor stand. That's what I'm looking for. Let's see, maybe doing this and that with you will get us our bibliocraft armor stand. Yeah, I think that's a good spot for you. There you go. You will be remembered. <laughs> I think it looks pretty nice. This, now this looks really nice. Now, unfortunately, we don't have any like special uh, properties with this armor, except, well, anytime we take damage, it'll actually drain um, kind of damage out of our life network. So I think uh, we should probably put this to the test. So far, we got about 150,000 LP in our current network. And I, I wouldn't mind putting this to the test. So I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of cleaning up. I need to gather a few things. For one, I don't know why my, my tools keep breaking for no reason. This time, uh, these two tools broke right before my death, before I started the episode. So I'm not sure what's happening there. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and put some of this stuff away. I need to get some food up and running. And once we do, I'll meet you guys back here in just a minute. Alright guys, in the nether at the moment, just collecting some wither skeleton skulls. So far, only got one, and this guy, I think he's mocking me. You're not? No, I think you are, my friend. I, I think you are actually mocking me, and I am going to take care of that. And you're all skeleton buddies. Get get out of here. <laughs> whoa, 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 careful there. I, 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 I will be honest with you guys, I am slightly missing my step assist at the moment. Alright, you... Drop us a weather skeleton skull. There we go. Nice, too. So we only need one more now. Where? You got any other friends laying around somewhere? Hanging out? You guys gonna go watch a movie later or something? There's gotta be more of those around. See, I'm already missing a few things from my old armor. Unfortunately, some step assist and uh, the high jump. I, just, I guess I just got used to it or something. So, anyways, we need one more skeleton skull here. One more wither skeleton skull. And uh, I'm gonna... Try this out on a wither, I think. I think that might be a good way of doing a little bit of testing here. In fact, I see another wither skeleton on my mini-map. How do I get over there? Ugh. Sorry, guys. Like I said, it is late. How am I going to get over there? Where are you? Why are you hiding from me? Okay, that's that's definitely not something I want. Could just jump in lava to test it, right? <laughs> no. Um, actually, I think... Whoa, whoa. Pigmen are mad at me. Yeah, nether gold ore doesn't hurt, right? Did you open up to... 
Nether fortress. I think there's a. I think there's an opening around here somewhere. Up oh, there it is, maybe. Possibly. Aha! Any luck? No. All right, so I'm gonna fly around a little bit more around this uh, fortress here and see if I can't have any luck getting another Wither Skeleton Skull. I'll let you guys know in just a minute. All right, guys, back in the lab. Three Wither Skeleton Skulls later, four pieces of soul sand, which, well, I guess I already had, and time to clean up the inventory a little bit. Let's see, let's get rid of you, you. Uh, I don't need the bones. I'm not going to worry about all that stuff for now. You I don't really care for. Uh, I'll hold on to the nether gold ore, and let's see what's in our uncommon treasure. If it'll open. Uh, Prentice's Ring of Perdito. Eh, well, that's not too bad. All right, let's go ahead and toss all this stuff away for now. I went ahead and got another nice gas tier there for later, possibly. And a little bit of netherrack for our barrel. A little bit of nether gold ore, which I think we can pop in our sag mill. Or not. I think, or possibly, I guess, smelt it first, nether ores, and then it just gives us regular... Okay, there we go. Smelting it just gives us rather regular ores, and then we can process it yet again. All right, there we go. So I went ahead and grabbed myself a splash potion of strength just for the time being. Let's jump down here and see what we have. What's in here? Uh, splash potion of healing, splash potion of regeneration. We'll grab a couple of those for now, maybe a few of those, just to be safe. Just in case, why not, right? All right, everything else all ready to go. All right, let's test this out. This is going to be a pure test. We're going to do this underground, so that way we're not like, uh, oops. Yeah. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> we're going to do this. Eh, kind of underground, I guess. We'll do this down here in the uh, ravine. Just that way it makes it a little bit easier on us. That way he doesn't have to worry about flying off. I don't really have a good ranged weapon on me anyway, so... Eh, I think this would be a nice spot in here somewhere, right? Should I be picking these up? <laughs> these ore berry bushes? Like, really? Eh, eh, why not? Alright, Wither, show us what you got, my friend. One, two, and three. Mind you guys, we are on hard mode on the server, so um, wish me luck. And boom. All right, Wither, show us what you got. Come here, Wither. Ooh. All right, so I still take Withering, unfortunately. That's not good. Hey, you get up here. Ooh, 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 ooh. Come here, Wither. Oh, Wither. Okay. Splash potion. That's kind of helpful. Wait, where'd he go? Yeah. Where are you, Wither? Yeah. Ha 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 ha. I got myself a nether star. And a little bit of withering. Another division sigil? Um. Do I have anything to help this? Let's put this on for just a minute. And see if we can get out of here real quick. So we still got another 20 seconds of withering. Ugh. All right, go, 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 go. Let's see, let's go up this way. Get to the altar quickly. Ugh. How much damage, how much did we use anyway? Oh yeah, we hardly used anything. All right, let's get down here. All right, health, health, health. Nice. Ah, all better now. <laughs> well, that wasn't too bad at all. I think we did pretty good. So it doesn't really protect us against withering, but it does negate a lot of damage, so I'm very, very happy about that. But we also have ourselves a nice little nether star. So what should we use this for? Well, we got a lot of different things we can use it for. Uh, advanced belt base, which we can use to make... Oh, a belt of flight. What do you know? <laughs> Could do that way, or... I think I'm going to spend mine on... Ascent of Angel Wings. It's been a while, long time coming, many, many deaths. I'm tired of dying from falling, so I think it's time to craft myself a nice set of Angel Wings. In fact, I'm going to go with these, the Dragon Wings. So we're going to need two pieces of leather, two unstable ingots, and four pieces of gold. Let's see if we can actually perform this and pull this off without dying. Hopefully we can. So two pieces of leather... We're going to need two diamonds and two pieces of iron. 
Let's get our activated, whoops, that's a wall. <laughs> Let's get our activated division sigil. Let's throw some of this other stuff away. Actually, it's probably a good thing we did bring our um, potions too, because, uh, yeah, I, I, I did get flipped and flopped around a little bit. That definitely does like tend to wake you up at night. So there we go, unstable ingots. I think we got everything else, gold and nether star. So yeah, I think we're good. So let's see if we can divide by diamond real quick without any issues. And we do need, I believe, a normal crafting table because this will not work and I don't believe in anything other than so. Let's set this up maybe, eh, right here looks good. All right, so we need, what type of recipe am I looking for? Nether star in the center, gold around it, leather in the top, unsable ingots at the bottom, left and right. And that's definitely not something I really wanna hear while I'm doing this. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Um, Sure, why not? I'll go ahead and sleep through the night real quick. Wouldn't hurt, right? Do, 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 do. There we are. Whoops. I ah, didn't make it in time. I tried. All right, so here we go. Diamonds. Iron. Wish me luck. Boom. Boom. Leather, leather, nether star, gold. Boom, boom, boom. Unstable ingots in the bottom and right, and we have ourselves angel wings. And this time, dragon. Now, we can equip these in our ring slots as well. Um, this is a ring I did find in a uh, weird chest early on, so it hasn't really done anything for me. The runic shielding, I haven't noticed it work at all, so I don't know if it is working for me or not. But we can equip it in there. In fact, I don't even know. Can we actually enchant these? That is a question, because that would be really cool. Hmm. Um, my question is, is can we enchant them with souls, uh, soul bound? Uh, so let's see, Enchanter from Ender.io requires a book and some dark steel. Hmm. All right, let's see, paper. Let's grab a quick book, or I mean, piece of leather to make a quick book. Bada bing, bada boom. Two diamonds, that's three, there we go. And some dark steel. Now, I don't think I have any dark steel just laying around, unfortunately, but I do know where there's some at. Um, where is my... There it is. Ha ha ha. Sorry. Um, I'll, I'll make that again later. Don't worry. Uh, so, quick enchanter real quick, just for the sake of testing. Now, some of you guys may have tested this already. I have not. So, I do believe I need... Some kind of crystal. It's like, um... I need to infuse it with a soul something. Crystal. Uh, I need to infuse it with some sort of soul. Any eye? Come on. Seriously? Okay, fine. Uh, where are you? Where are you? It's hiding in here somewhere. This guy. Enticing crystal? Is that what I need? Or is it an ender crystal? I think it might might be the ender crystal. Take a quick... Oh, yep. Soul bound. There we go. So, um, To get our ender crystal, we are going to need a soul binder and a... Soul vial, so this is not too bad. Vibrant alloy around an emerald, I can do that no problem. In fact, I don't even, I guess I don't have any. Hmm. I was like, I can do this no problem, right here, right now. Um, doesn't have any. So if I just grab one of my energetic alloys, piece of an ender pearl, and our alloy smelter, we should be able to craft one up, no problem, as long as we're in uh, alloys mode. All right, so that'll get that taken care of, and I got plenty of emeralds to make one. I just need to get started working on a soul binder. So what do we need to, for that? Looks like, oh, that's easy. Just some solarium, which I have already, no problem. Machine chassis, no problem. And four types of mod pads, which this is not going to be a problem at all. So let's see what... Do you need different kinds of heads? Or does the same one work? Hopefully it does. It does not. Oh, wait, no. No, 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 no. It does need those specific heads. Okay. Whoops. Derps. Big derps. So you, you, and you. Thankfully we have all of them. Enderman head. Zombie and skeleton. Flip those around. That'll give us our soul binder. Now, all we need now is you. 
around an emerald to get our vibrant crystal. I don't know if this is going to work or not. If it doesn't, I can put Soulbound on a different piece of my armor, more than likely. So, will not be for not. Will not be for not. Yeah, I'm just, uh, we'll go with that, I guess. <laughs> um, where can I put you? Where is a good spot? Is down here even a good spot? This thing does look really cool, though. That does look really, really cool. I'm just going to set it up right there for now. Place that in there, and we need to get ourselves an Enderman Soul really quick, like. So, I need a Soul Vial. Solarium, and a little bit of Fused Quartz. That is done and done. So, let's see if we can actually get a Enderman, hopefully spawning... Somewhere close, or possibly in... Down here? No? Ah, darn creepers blowing up all my stuffs again. Yeah, I'm going to do something about this graveyard. Alright, I'm going to keep an eye out for an Enderman, and I'll let you guys know when we get one caught in our soul vial. Meet you guys back in just a minute. Alright guys, I just decided to go ahead and go off to the end. This would probably be one of these smarter decisions than just waiting around for an Enderman to spawn in my mom farm. So come here, you. You're going to be our guinea pig. Seriously? Really? You're like breaking my ear here and you're not even coming over here. All right, fine. I'll... Ah, ah. Darn you. Wow, you're actually doing damage. <laughs> Props to you, my friend. Props to you. Um, actually, it does pose a very good question as to whether or not we can just enchant this with more protection. That would be cool. Might have to try that out soon, too. Might have to do a little bit of experimentation back in the lab with some enchanting soon. Alright, so we got our soul vial. We should have our crystal down here ready to go for us. Yep, alright. And we just need 25 levels. Now, unfortunately, I need to grab some experience. I know this is here, so... <laughs> I'm just gonna make a quick little trip around... Grab a couple stacks of our essence berries that uh, set up a long while back ago. And we'll just put that back there. Y'all saw nothing. Alright, there you go. And have yourself that. Wait, what? You only needed 10 experience? Seriously? Thought you said 25. Or is that. Oh, that might have been for the enchanter. Well, good thing we got this too. <laughs> Alright, there we go. And. Ender Crystal. Alright, let's head upstairs to our enchanter. And I believe I need... Do I have any feathers? Please tell me I have feathers. Oh, please tell me. Oh, wait, I do have feathers. They're down here. <laughs> Somehow in my, my mob farm. So we need a feather. We need an ink sack. We need... Do I have any paper in here? Yes, I do. And a little bit more leather to get myself a book and quill for the enchanter. All right, so this guy does not require power. Just place in the item that you want to get the enchant that you want and have the amount of experience as well on your player. And you can have yourself, for the cost of a little bit of experience, the book that you're looking for. Now we just need an anvil, all right. Just needs a little bit of this and that and everything, don't we? Alright. Whoa, 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 careful there. Alright, I didn't need that many. Just in a rush to see if this is gonna work. Excited. Um, definitely do not need an anvil in here, but I'm gonna place it in there just for the time being. Let's see if this works. <gasps> oh, that does work! It only costs six levels of in- Woo hoo hoo! Sweet! <laughs> Dibs. So anytime you die. This means uh, these should stay on my player. That would be awesome. So even if we die, we still have the ability to fly around. And that is nice. I'm happy about that. Might even have to do that for uh, some of my armor as well. So that's going to about do it for today, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys have any helpful tips, tricks, or comments, feel free to put them in the comment section down below. If you guys would rate the video... I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, we'll see you guys then. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That, uh, okay. Um, and <laughs> until next time, we'll see you guys then. Goodbye. Trying to get rid of you.
Seals? Wal walruses? <laughs> what? Why?